This is a summary of the five practices of highly resilient people, a book by Dr. Taryn Stasekel. Life is full of challenges, and leadership consultant Dr. Taryn Stasekel outlines strategies to overcome them. Drawing on extensive research and collaboration with Fortune 500 companies, Stasekel distills five findings about how to strengthen your resilience. Embrace vulnerability, know when to persevere or pivot, create meaningful connections, practice gratitude and generosity, and take risks in pursuit of new possibilities. Stasekel tailors her advice for women, parents, leaders, and organizations, though her advice can help everyone thrive in their personal and professional lives. Okay, here's the first takeaway. Resilience helps you overcome life's challenges. Resilience helps you deal with a world full of challenge, change, and complexity. Resilient people choose to actively embrace difficulties, enhancing their lives rather than degrading them. Resilience already exists within you. Strengthen it through practicing vulnerability, persevering within limits, making authentic connections, being grateful and generous, and moving beyond your fears. Push aside the victim mentality of asking, why is this happening to me? And embrace the warrior mentality of saying, why is this happening for me? Reframe challenges accordingly. Instead of avoiding challenges completely, invite them when they arise. Regard challenges as the comma in the middle of a sentence. They allow you to pause briefly before writing what comes next. Create reverse bucket lists. Unlike traditional bucket lists that envision positive things you want to do, reverse bucket lists appreciate challenging experiences you've already lived through. Spend five minutes daily reflecting on how a significant challenge left a positive mark on your character. Now let's hear takeaway number two. Share authentic, vulnerable comeback stories to fuel connection. Vulnerability blends personal strength and openness as you share challenges with those who support you. Two types of vulnerability exist, performative and genuine. Performative vulnerability focuses on managing impressions and boosting ego, but genuine vulnerability strengthens your authentic connection with others. Assess the areas of your life where you already demonstrate genuine vulnerability and others where you could express more. Learn not to associate vulnerability with weakness Share relatable stories of pain, loss, or brokenness to foster supportive and authentic connections. When choosing a resilient story to share, consider the following four elements. First, purpose. Why share the story? How will it serve and connect you with others? Second, framing. How have you told yourself this story in the past? How might you retell it in an empowering way? Third, audience. Is your story only personally cathartic, or will it inspire others in your audience? Can your listeners relate to your struggle? And the fourth element is timing. Is your story still raw or unresolved? Consider sharing stories from which you've already healed. Time for another takeaway. Learn when to persevere and when to pivot. Perseverance leads to valuable lessons that help you avoid repeating mistakes. Pivoting opens up new opportunities. How do you determine which strategy to choose? If your environment's still favorable, persevere. Know what you're doing right, focus on what works, and try again. If your returns diminish rapidly, then pivot. Don't let the need to seek closure pull you down. Learn to tolerate ambiguity instead. Sometimes your best choice is simply to pause. Success is rarely, if ever, linear. Usually, success comprises a collection of fits, starts, and pauses. So take a rest and re-clarify your purpose. Beware of creating a detailed plan B. A broad outline for an alternative works fine, but a specific substitute can diminish your drive and focus. Only create a plan B after you exhaust all current options. Let's move on to the fourth takeaway. Connect meaningfully with yourself and trustworthy companions to boost resilience and mitigate burnout. Connection means relating authentically with yourself and others. An internal connection means knowing, listening, valuing, and trusting yourself. This helps articulate your needs, reduces internal conflict, and cultivates self-control. 
Connection with others means reaching out and building supportive relationships. This lowers anxiety, fosters trust, and staves off the loneliness that affects nearly 61% of workers, leading to lower productivity and higher turnover. Improve your internal self-connection by eliminating negative self-talk. Make a list of the positive and negative things you say to yourself, identify changes you want to make, and write alternative affirmations. Recognize your capabilities and embrace the possibility of positive outcomes. Your self-talk also affects your external connection to others. To boost external connection, audit your relationships. Be selective. Invest in those who uplift and challenge you, not those who are threatened by your growth or success. Set boundaries. Know what you won't tolerate, follow your values, and nurture your core community. Here's the next takeaway. Practice gratitude and generosity. Gratiosity combines gratitude and generosity. Gratitude finds the good in difficult circumstances. Generosity spreads that good by sharing stories of resilience. These shared narratives can offer strength to others during difficult times and inspire success despite adversity. Gratitude practice rewires your brain to focus on positives rather than negatives, helping you rebound from setbacks. As your negative emotions decrease, your adaptability and resilience increase, widening your emotional range to tackle future challenges. To practice gratitude, write down three things you're grateful for daily. Use resilient language when you talk to yourself, such as, I get to, rather than, I have to. Share resilient stories with others to promote healing and growth. These narratives provide strength and build bonds with others. They're able to learn vicariously from your experiences. We've reached the sixth takeaway. Face your fears, accept risk, and seek opportunities for growth. Look for creative solutions to complex challenges despite fear of failure. Face your fears and embrace ambiguity. Fear often holds hidden wisdom and enables tolerance for ambiguity, which can enhance your performance. Shift your focus from perfection to progress and from impossible standards to those that are good enough. Instead of exclusively focusing on the end result, visualize the entire process leading toward your goal. Express gratitude for making progress and use committed language such as I am creating rather than I'd love to create. Assess risks and opportunities to determine your best path. Start by examining your current approach and another from someone you admire. See what you learn from each. Accept risks as inevitable and focus on managing rather than eliminating them. Identify affected parties, potential outcomes, and their likelihoods. Write these down for future reference and periodic review. Then, choose your best path forward. Here's the next takeaway. Parents can develop resilience in their children by helping them navigate difficult emotions instead of avoiding them. Parents can equip their kids with resilience tools to manage their emotions and self-soothe. They can provide their children with a toolkit to navigate worry, panic, and fear instead of avoiding these difficult emotions. To help children manage worry, for example, parents can implement worry sessions. Set aside a designated time to express and release worries, or create a worry box. Children write down their worries and place them inside the box to let them go. Encourage thinking about positive outcomes to help put worries in perspective. Resilient parents demonstrate emotional regulation and self-love, which starts by reframing difficulties as opportunities for development. Emotional regulation means responding, not reacting. Instead of an immediate emotional reaction, pause, take a deep breath, label your emotions, and respond calmly. To model self-love, show how you accept and care for yourself, engage in positive self-talk, and cultivate supportive relationships. Now let's hear takeaway number eight. Resilient organizations improve everyone's performance. Organizational success is buoyed by resilient practices. When employees develop resilience, so do their organizations. Productivity, innovation, and engagement increase. To enhance organizational resilience, 
follow these three approaches. First, identify and assess resilience. Assess how leaders and employees demonstrate resilience to create a buoyant environment. Consider how well an organization navigates between staying committed, pivoting in the face of diminishing returns, and creating a positive vision for the future. Second, harness and boost resilience. Apply the five practices to existing initiatives such as hiring, succession planning, diversity, equity, inclusion and belonging, and stress and burnout. For example, integrate resilience assessments into the hiring process by evaluating a candidate's ability to overcome challenges. Third, create solutions. Vulnerability fosters psychological safety, a trait that Google's Project Aristotle found crucial to success in its two-year study of 180 teams. Practice vulnerability by sharing failures and challenges, as well as successes. Embrace new perspectives, listen actively, and validate others' experiences. All right, let's continue. Here's takeaway nine. Resilience helps women overcome biases and barriers to leadership. Attitudes toward women's behavior impact their likelihood of becoming leaders. For example, an experiment at Columbia Business School showed that identical resumes received different perceptions based on gender, with participants viewing Heidi Rosen as more aggressive and unlikable than Howard Rosen. Women can cultivate resilience by embracing their own worthiness and supporting other women. They must believe in themselves and champion their personal gifts. This enables women to leave unfulfilling situations, advocate for themselves, and overcome perfectionism in job applications. Men apply for jobs for which they meet 60% of the advertised requirements. Women tend to apply only when they meet 100% of the criteria. Women should strive for balance between selfishness and selflessness by setting boundaries, pursuing goals, rejecting lecherous behavior, and practicing self-care. Support other women by allowing them to shine. Instead of regarding successful women as competition, treat them as potential collaborators who enhance rather than diminish you. Now for the 10th and final takeaway. Integrate resilience into your daily life with one small change at a time. Write down what you're willing to do and to let go of to reach your dreams. Consider how you can heal from past trauma and replace limiting beliefs. Choose one small change to make today, such as journaling, drinking water in the morning, or giving more compliments. Focus on only one change for an 80% success rate, compared to 33% when attempting multiple changes at once. Write this change down, keep it visible, and practice it for 21 consecutive days. Reflect and restart if you miss a day. After 21 days of sustaining a meaningful change, incorporate rituals to enhance resilience, refocus energy, and center yourself in the present. Rituals bring focus to daily life. For example, a morning ritual of listening to uplifting songs and mantras sets the tone for your day by helping you feel strong and balanced. A larger ritual is to reflect, renew, and reset. Do this a few times a year to create a fresh start. Reflect on your life and identify what you want to keep and let go by writing both down in two columns. Write down your desired future, reflect on how far you've come, and set a date for your next assessment. That was a summary of The Five Practices of Highly Resilient People, a book by Dr. Taryn Stasekel. Here's a reminder of the 10 takeaways. Takeaway one, resilience helps you overcome life's challenges. Takeaway two, share authentic, vulnerable comeback stories to fuel connection. The third takeaway, learn when to persevere and when to pivot. Takeaway four, connect meaningfully with yourself and trustworthy companions to boost resilience and mitigate burnout. Takeaway five, practice gratitude and generosity. The sixth takeaway, face your fears, accept risk and seek opportunities for growth. Takeaway seven, Parents can develop resilience in their children by helping them navigate difficult emotions instead of avoiding them. Takeaway 8. Resilient organizations improve everyone's performance. Takeaway 9. Resilience helps women overcome biases and barriers to leadership. And finally, takeaway 10. 
Integrate resilience into your daily life with one small change.